Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' was cracking it today. About to react to this vid. Apparently, Keith Lee accidentally ate a worm that was in some food that he was reviewing in Seattle. And it says that his, his fans are upset. So, yeah, yeah. Let, let's see exactly what's going on. Let's watch. So, recently, Keith Lee went to a top-rated sushi place called Five Sushi Bar in Seattle. Keith Lee reviewed the food. <gasps> he rated the food at 8.5. But during the review, people in the comments noticed that there was a worm, a parasite, moving at the tail end of the sushi, allegedly. Ew. But Keith Lee didn't notice it, and he ate the sushi <gasps> anyway, which made the video go viral. Since then, Keith Lee did remove the video, but then Keith Lee posted the video back up when Five Sushi Bar spoke out. They said their valuable customer but we were honored to recently welcome Keith Lee to our Bob's Sushi and are incredibly grateful for his visit and the support from everyone who has stopped by. Recently, a video has been circulating online that claims worms were found in our sashimi. We want to address this claim directly and assure you that it is entirely false. At Bob Sushi, we are committed false. to upholding we the, saw the worm. safety standard to provide clean, fresh, and safe food for every customer. Now, they do speak on how they store the food and the supplier that they use, which is Young Ocean, and they also speak on the movement of the food as well that people thought it was a parasite they said all of our frozen products meet these standards and any fresh products are intended to be frozen before consumption to completely eliminate any potential health risks regarding the video the movement observed in the fish may result from natural elasticity or the pressure of chopsticks when applied no, to the structure no no that was a worm our customers that this is not indicative of any worms or any health concerns yes Queen it is clarence did respond to do it's sushi was sushi done in the most unique way that I've ever seen in my entire life. I got it. Let's try it. You ready to the ten? I spent fifteen dollars. The name of this restaurant is Five Sushi Bar. It is one of the most recommended places to sleep in here. What makes it so unique is the ordering process. All of the sushi is sold by the pound and it's buffet style. So you go in, you grab a box. They have an option of two sizes large or small once you pick the box you grab a tong and you go down the line and you pick the sushi that you want and it's $14.99 per pound they have over 30 different options but the only thing for me is that i have a shellfish allergy so most of the options that they had was fully contained with shellfish but i still managed to get like 10 pieces so i'm gonna show you that i got and we're gonna try it and we're going to see it i got a big box because i thought i was gonna be able to get a lot more filling this whole box is probably 30 to 50 dollars i would have to assume and look how much you would get instead of showing them one by one i'm gonna just pick them up as we go we're gonna start classic salmon and giri. In my face, the rice is definitely overcooked. It's very gummy, but the salmon is fresh. It's not the freshest salmon I've ever had, but mm -hmm. it's not bad. In my I opinion, it's right in the middle. Five out of ten. I put soy sauce on all of these too, by the way. This is spicy salmon belly with chili going on top. Same thing, the salmon is fresh, the rice is overcooked. I do like the addition of chili oil. It goes a little bit higher for me. 6.5 out of 10. Yellow tail nigiri. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, was that the one that had the, sorry, I was yeah. looking. Is that the one that had the one? In my opinion, the rice is definitely overcooked. It's very gummy, but the salmon is fresh. It's not the freshest salmon I've ever had, but it's not bad. In my opinion, it's right in the middle. Five out of ten. I put soy sauce on all of these too, by the way. This is spicy salmon belly with chili going on top. Same thing, the salmon is fresh, the rice is overcooked. I do like the addition of chili oil. It goes a little bit higher for me. 6.5 out of 10. Yellow tail nigiri. That's so way fresher, way snappier. The rice is still very overcooked, which is killing me in my opinion. If it wasn't for the rice, this would be very high. That's really out of 10. important. If the rice was cooked right, I feel like this would be like an 8 out of 10. If you ask me, hamachi with salt and pepper. Not my favorite one. You can see the rice. See, you can see the texture of the rice. Especially when it comes to nigiri, it's such a simple dish, and the rice is a huge component. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. But this as a sashimi is high. 8.5 out of 10, mm -hmm. especially for the price. I would come just for that price. So mm -hmm. This is a blue fan tuna gumpkin. Please forgive me if I pronounce it wrong. Mm. Quality wise, I feel like this is somewhere in between like Miami and Japan. It's not as fresh as Japan, but it's a little fresher than Miami, if that makes any sense. Because I feel like Miami had really good sushi. For me, this is an 8 out of 10. Overall, this absolutely is a place that I would come back to. Well, and I can see if you love Maybe sushi you and you don't have a shelf allergy, this is heaven. You go to $15, you walk out with 12 pieces, and you can have crab and shrimp. You can walk out with all kinds of stuff. And it seems like it's a very popular spot because as we speak, the line is out the door. And as always, I pray and hope after this, they continue to reach their target audience. God bless you. Have an amazing day. I'll be safe. Okay, I definitely saw the worm in the first video from the video that I reacted to on YouTube, but in that TikTok, I didn't see it. So I don't know if he re-uploaded the video 
or if it went so fast that I missed it. Let me know if you guys saw it. But I wanted to watch the full TikTok because I wanted, you know, a bigger picture so that I can understand better what took place. And I feel like I got it. <laughs> that that was a cheap place. He's like, oh, it's a good bargain. It's a good deal. That's not what I'm looking for when I'm when I'm doing sushi. Okay, I don't play with, with raw fish. You want to go to a good quality sushi spot, and usually those are a bit more expensive, which I don't mind paying if I know that the the food is good quality and I can trust it. And ain't no worms going to be in it. You know? Because he's like, oh, this is a good deal. The line wrapped around the corner and they got the fish all laid out. I don't like that. I do not play. I don't go to those little cheap, little rinky-dink, like, uh, sushi spots and poke bowl spots. I don't play with that. I want to sit down at a restaurant. I, I want to pay more money, to be honest. Because, <laughs> you know, I trust it. I want to go to the more fancy, bougier places because I don't ever have any issues with them. But that's just my opinion. I mean, obviously, uh, more expensive doesn't always mean better. But sometimes it's a good indication when something is cheap. It's, it's usually because they cut in corners and they don't have the best healthiest business practices when it comes to handling your food so that's my opinion on that especially with sushi especially so hmm very interesting if he did re-upload the video i understand him not wanting to ruin their business and you know give them a bad reputation but you gotta be real like facts are facts it was a worm in the goddamn sushi so why would it you want to keep that up or address that or be honest about that, especially when they try to come out and, and make it seem like, oh, y'all tripping. That wasn't a worm. No, that's that's because he moved the chopsticks that way. And they're like they they trying to they're not even trying to take responsibility for it. Like that was obviously a worm. What are you talking about? Oh, maybe the the fibers and the sushi moved it. That was a worm. Like y'all playing games. So I, I think he should address it or you know he should have left the original video up. But again, maybe that was the original video and I just I missed it let me know but yeah I, I i respect that he wants to help these businesses and he doesn't want to make them look bad but at some point you still should want to be honest with your viewers as well so that they don't end up in the same situation you know i, I don't i don't understand the whole idea of only being positive all the time about everything and only reviewing the places that you liked I don't get that. I don't agree with that at all. I want the, the full picture. I want the good and the bad. Like, hello. Uh, but yeah, if I'm missing something, y'all definitely let me know. Uh, maybe he did address it. I, I didn't see it, but I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!